Honestly, I don't know why I started this challenge on sleep time. Anyway... Last year I started developing games with my first game ever, Square Jump, which is a platformer kind of hyper casual game. So yeah, that game took like a month to make and I was really happy with the result. Now I kind of hate that game. Anyways, I am also working on a remake of that game in case you're interested, you can consider subscribing, you know, just hit the red button and then you will be subscribed and notified every time I post videos. So yeah, I have decided to make this challenge because I wanted to showcase my one year experience, so to say. And without further ado, let's get right into this challenge, shall we? So, I don't know why I had this idea of a slimy ball that jumps from wall to wall, collecting stars and jumping over platforms, maybe moving platforms, and like every good game there are also going to be spikes that the slime ball should avoid of course. So yeah, with the idea settled, it was time to actually start developing. I started off with the physics of the game, making sure that the player and the walls collide with each other, and also gravity works. So then I moved on to the drag and shoot mechanic, which is very straightforward. I managed to do it following the tutorial from Muddy Wolf Games, which has a very simple tutorial that does exactly what I wanted to do. So I made the code, and this is the result. It works perfectly. I wanted to add a little arrow that indicated the direction of the player, but uh, it was way harder than I thought, so I had to leave it for later because I was wasting too much time. Speaking of which, it was bedtime and I was exhausted. So yeah, I started a little late, only 10 hours remaining. The first thing I did was find a way to make the player stick to the wall. Then I found this guy that said that he approached it by freezing the Y axis and the X axis. And I thought that was a real cool idea. So I decided to attach a script to the walls and say every time that player collides with the wall, it's gonna constrain the two axes of the ball. And also in the character controller, I added a line of code that unconstrained the axis. And yeah, this is how it looks. Moving on, I also made the collectibles. So I started off making the character, but spoiler alert, I ended up not using this sprite because I didn't like how it looked in game. Anyways, I added some bones because I wanted to give this jelly effect. Yeah, great. Anyway, in today's PowerPoint presentation, I don't understand why it is so laggy. Moving on, I also changed the background and the walls. And this is the character sprite I'm gonna I'm gonna be using. I also added bones to give the jelly effect I was talking about. Five hours remaining and I still got a lot to do. I made the star, which ended up looking cooler than I anticipated. Same for the spikes. I also made the main menu with some animations, and my sister came up with the name Gumdrop, which is way better than what I had in mind. After fixing some bugs, adding music and sound effects, and designing some levels, the 24 hours were up, and this is the final result.
so yeah this was all for today's video i really hope you enjoyed i'm gonna keep working on the game because i really want to publish it and also i'm gonna leave a webgl version of the game in case you want to try it out on your web browser right now so yeah thank you so much for watching and i see you guys in the next video